In October 2018, the Indian Enterprise Architecture or INDEA was adopted as a holistic and integrated approach to e-governance using architecture reference models. The Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology is aiming to review the same under the Indian Digital Ecosystem Architecture 2.0. The Indian Digital Ecosystem Architecture 2.0 or the INDEA 2.0 is a framework which allows governments and private sector enterprises to design IT architectures which can expand their organizational boundaries and ensure holistic delivery of services to consumers. Along with it being a review of the old INDEA, it serves as a review of the agile INDEA framework which was developed in 2019 to enable the architecture development to be taken up in shorter cycles. The framework seeks to meet the shift proposed by the ministry discussing a national open digital ecosystem or NODE which are a set of principles that prioritizes governance frameworks and community engagement as important parts of a digital ecosystem. The framework is focused on building a digital government by informing, guiding and enabling the development of large digital systems focused on the public sector. It operates on the principles which include designing and adopting a decentralized model for digital ecosystems to enhance trust, efficiency and transparency in the same. Emphasis is laid on a business centric approach to provide additional value to users and adoption of standards to ensure optimal use of digital assets as per the principles. The framework aims to create a three layered blueprint which other public organizations can use with customizations. This framework is also working to reduce the number of identification cards one has to carry, to reduce repeated verification of documents, to prioritize digital registries along with a digital ID to access the same. Do you have any thoughts on this draft framework that you would like to share with the Ministry of Electronics, Information and Technology? Head on over to civis.vote to read a summary of this draft framework and give your feedback on it today.